Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to make Christmas bell and cherry leaves in Illustrator. So let's start by making a new document. And the first thing I'm going to do is change the unit to pixels. And I'm going to create a canvas of 500 by 500 pixels. So there we go. So I'm going to start with uh, making the cherry leaf first. Uh, I will let's select the arc tool and create an arc. And then we are going to just adjust the curve using the arrow keys. And I guess that looks just right. So I'm just going to reposition the arc now. So it makes the tip of the leaf. That's it. And now using the option key, let's make a copy of that and go to transform and reflect it vertically so now we need to align these uh, points together so make sure your snap to point is selected under view menu so when you bring them close they're going to snap and that's it now again holding the option key let's make a copy of that and we just need to make the kind of curvy edges of the leaf and rotate them and we're just going to snap the points again and we go we just keep on doing that again we make copies and i'm going to reflect this one vertically so that makes it look symmetrical you're going to now make just one more copy of this Now you can see <clears throat> now you can see that the space that we have got uh, at the bottom is uh, kind of less so we are going to make another arc which is smaller and adjust it using the arrow keys I guess that is fine and now we're just going to snap that to the left side of the leaf and do the same hold option key make a copy reflect vertically and align it on the right now you can see that we have a good leaf right there and but it's smaller arcs join together so now I'm going to just select all the corners using the direct select tool and use the keyboard command command J to make it one big shape so now once we have the leaf uh, let's just uh, fill it with a solid color I'm going to select a green color and the next thing we are just going to get rid of the stroke so that looks good we'll just resize this leaf uh, okay before we resize it let's see if there are any uh, harsh edges around so I feel like that happens once sometimes you join corners you see those ugly looking lines let's just delete or uh, erase them using the erase tool and okay that looks good now i'm just going to resize this leaf and keep it aside until we need that again now the next thing let's create a bell so i'm going to select an ellipse and create a narrow ellipse a narrow horizontal ellipse this is going to be the bottom of our bell so let's make uh, let's make the fill none and give it a black stroke as of now i'm going to uh, use three points uh, for the width of the stroke 
because that is the same we used for the leaf now let's hold the option key and make another ellipse right on top of this one and this is going to be the top of our bell so just resize it until you feel it looks correct i feel that is fine you can see now that is going to be the curvy edge of the bell i feel that is a little big so let's make it smaller i think that size would be perfect so the curves of the bell are going to be falling down like that so next i'm just going to use the pen tool and connect the left anchor points of both the ellipses and as you click on the low anchor point you can adjust the curve and uh, you know you can just go by your judgment whatever looks fine to you i'm going to make it more curvy towards the bottom because that would that's more like a bell make a copy of that using uh holding the option key and flip it vertically now we're just going to make sure that they are aligned properly you can use the arrow keys to make minor adjustments to that so i feel now this looks perfect now i want to merge all of these shapes together using the shape builder tool so first let's select the entire thing then let's select the shape builder tool and just drag from the bottom to up and it becomes one big shape so now we have a good or uh, nice looking bell shape we have tiny bits left that we will just select and delete so now we have a bell let's make the clapper i'm going to start with the ellipse tool and holding shift i'm going to make a perfect circle next we need to uh, make a small rectangle and i'm just going to make it outside i think that is fine and uh, we need to keep place that right on top of the circle so now you can center line them and make one shape out of it so we have the bell and we have the clapper now we have to place the clapper in a way that it aligns with the center of the bell or the center of the top of the bell uh so it doesn't look like it's on a wrong axis that's perfect so now we again select both of them make one shape out of it so we have a nice looking bell let's see how it scales down holding the shift key i'm going to scale it down and you can see it doesn't look right maybe because it's of the uh, that is because of having a broader stroke so i'm just going to get rid of the stroke and fill it with a dark yellowish orange and that looks perfect so now we have the leaf and the bell we need to make cherries so using the ellipse tool i'm going to make another circle and color it let's say red so we have the leaf bell and cherries so now we're going to align the leaves or uh, we're going to be basically place the leaves in a kind of triangular pattern so it looks like the typical christmas cherry leaves and i'm going to flip the leaves upside down because uh i'm going to have the smaller tip towards the outside because that is how leaves are they're broader at the base and kind of tapering towards the end so which is why i flip the leaves and i've placed them in kind of a triangle so this depends this completely depends on you you can uh place them any how you want you can maybe have even more leaves and now i'm going to place the cherries uh right on top of these leaves make copies of it i'm going to have three cherries and then i'm going to align the cherry so you can't see the spaces between the leaves so that's it now let's just get the bell the bell looks kind of small so let's scale it up and kind of place it behind the cherries that is kind of cutting out the top of the bell so i'm going to 
take it down a little bit i feel that is perfect so now i'm just i'm just going to select the entire thing and kind of tilt it so it looks like the bell the clapper is hanging from the bell and looks more natural now let's just create gradients uh so it looks more natural the leaves uh look more real and so i'm just going to select a gray gradient and uh select a nice green color and i'm going to select the same color on the other end of the gradient and then uh let's just go into the rgb settings and i'm going to just pull down that slider a bit to make it lighter so now you can see that the leaf looks kind of more natural it has a nice gradient to it now using the gradient tool i'm going to uh make it grade from the top to bottom so it looks like it has a shadow towards the bottom because of the cherries and then we're just going to do the same with all the leaves you can play around with this a bit you can go with what you feel looks better So now we have a good gradient. Uh I feel the colors could be uh a little more dramatic. So towards the end the end slider of the gradient I'm just going to make it a little darker so it looks it looks as if it, the cherries are casting a bigger shadow. So that makes the cherries pop out even more. Okay, sorry. So next we will just use the same kind of gradient on the cherries. uh so let's just zoom in so we can see better first let's select the basic gray gradient and then we are going to select a good nice red color cherry red color and on the other on the other slider as well we're going to use the same color code and once we have done that let's go to the second slider and pull down the reds to make it a little more darker so now you can see that the cherries have a good separation between them that is what we are looking for we want them to look each cherry to stand out from the other and make sure when you're doing these uh, when you're doing these uh, gradients you save the presets from the drop down so from that drop down so it's always there when you have to use them again and then you can just use the gradient tool to adjust from which direction you want the gradient to be so i guess we are done with the cherries we're just going to adjust the gradient using the gradient tool and i feel that is perfect so now that we are done with the leaves and the cherries is the time for the bell so I'm going to select the gray gradient again, the same one which we've used for the bells and cherries, and let's select a nice dark yellow. We're just going to keep that color code in mind and use the same yellow towards the other slider. And with this one, I'm going to pull down the greens a little bit to make it warmer. It makes it look a little orangish and then it 
grades towards a brighter yellow and using the gradient tool I'm going to keep the gradient from top to bottom that looks nice so we have a nice looking bell with cherry leaves and cherries so let's just keep that one aside and now let's make some snowflakes so it makes it more Christmas-ish snowflakes are uh, snowflakes are pretty easy to make you just need to use the segment tool let's select the segment tool and uh, keep it black no fill and holding shift we are just going to make one straight line that's it and now the next thing we do is make another line from roughly from the center of this one and pull it a little up at an angle and then holding the option key will make a copy of that and reflect that horizontally so we have exactly the opposite of that and let's snap it onto the center as well so we have one we have one arm of the snowflake you can say we are just going to copy that using the option key again and reflect this entire thing vertically so now we have one strand we have snapped them together so next we just need to uh, make a copy of that and this one I'm going to group and I'm going to rotate this at an angle of 60 degrees and roughly place it at the center make another copy of that and reflect that vertically and place this one as well at the center now let's select everything together and center line it so that's our snowflake let's see how it looks when you scale it down we're going to use the shift key and i think the stroke can be a little thinner but that's fine i'm just going to go with the gray color and the stroke is fine and it looks better with gray so next let's just make copies of that holding down the option key and you have snowflakes falling down So there you go, you have your Christmas bell with cherry leaves and cherries and snowflakes and you can use this for a lot of things like you, you can just use this pattern for creating greeting cards, you can use it for your websites or blogs and um, for anything basically, making logos. So if you like this video, first of all, Merry Christmas and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos i'll be updating a lot of uh, tutorials so stay tuned for that and that's it i'll see you with another video bye bye and okay i forgot that uh, you can uh, just to make the cherries pop like give a more give it more dimension you can just select the cherries go to effects and give it a drop shadow just keep the opacity at about 57 roughly 57 60 percent so it doesn't look like it's very distant from the bells so that's it and i hope you like this video and bye bye